Hello friends, today I've got four new pickups to share. Great for sharing. Sharing is fun. I love it. So stick around and check it out. Hey, you wanna check these out? Hello friends, I am John and I am the 3D80s kid. Today is a great day to talk about baseball cards, and my topic for today is four more cards I have added. These all fit within my goal cards for my post-war vintage player run. Of course I do. Where you been? Uh, four different examples, you know, two of which are uh, kind of national pickups and two that are not. So let's uh, just get right to it. Let's flip this camera around, and I will give you a closer look at my new cards. All right. Hand modeling mode activated all right so my first pickup is technically what i would call a national pickup because i bought the card when i was at the national turns out it was ebay and this is the case where the card almost never comes up for auction and i just had to pounce because it's a case of being able to get a card that's in my collecting plan for very close to the price of grading the card in the first place and that would be none other than this gorgeous 1970 tops Fergie Jenkins card as you can see in a 6.5 and I was able to get this one in an eBay auction for only $20 what a savings so impossible to pass up that deal and now it has arrived uh yeah well it arrived a few weeks ago but uh, I didn't get around to showing it till now so here you go Fergie Jenkins 1970 tops Canada's first Hall of Fame member, Fergie Jenkins, used pinpoint control and effectively changed speeds to win 284 games. Cast in the same mold as finesse artists like Catfish Hunter and Robin Roberts, Jenkins forged an impressive 3.34 ERA despite playing 12 of his 19 seasons in hitter's ballparks, Wrigley Field and Fenway Park. A diligent workhorse, Jenkins used an easy, uncomplicated motion to reach the 20-win mark seven times and capture the National League Cy Young Award in 1971. He was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1991. My next so-called national pickup was a case where this was at the point of convention when I had gotten the Fox, I had gotten the Greenberg, and I had just a little bit of money in my wallet. And you, you keep on spending and spending and spending. And it's a case where I wanted to be able to actually complete having at least one card from every major vintage set, which was one of the, you know, the goals of my Hall of Fame post-war collecting was having two cards from each major vintage set. But this would give me one of every set. And, uh, you know, I think once my SGC order comes back that's out right now, I'll have to do a little showcase of running through uh, one card of each set, so Won't that be fun? Uh, this one helped fill that bill, and that would be this 1951 Topps Redback of Ralph Kiner, which uh, I believe I got it in auction for only $32. Holy bargain basements, Batman. Our concern is the bargain. As I recall, and uh, yeah, with uh, with that purchase on eBay, that uh, completed my spending, and I wasn't going to spend my remaining cash since I'd already made that purchase, and I just got to help other people buy things from that point forward. So, great example of this, where it's just gorgeous on the front. So, In a relatively brief 10-year career shortened by a back ailment, Ralph Kiner hit 369 home runs, winning or sharing the National League home run title in each of his first seven seasons in Pittsburgh. He topped 50 home runs twice, with 51 in 1947 and 54 in 1949. His ratio of 7.1 home runs per 100 at bats ranks among the highest of all time. Kiner averaged better than 100 RBIs a season as he led the National League in slugging percentage three times. A longtime broadcaster with the Mets, Kiner started working with the team from its inception in 1962. He was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1975. And now, a uh, more recent pickup of a case where I'd kind of been tracking the card for a while, and, uh, you know, 
damn you, Dylan. I, I was paying attention so much to centering that I just kept being picky on this card uh, until I saw this one. And uh, I don't know. I don't know about his 100-point scale, but I just have to say that this one is pretty dead on from at least my visibility. And that is going to be this 1971 Tops Tom Seaver in a gorgeous six. Shout out to Mookie Chilson. Uh, still, you know, I wish I had your wonderful bearded version, but uh, I will settle for this one instead. And uh, I was able to get this one. A buy it now, our best offer. I made an offer of $45 and got accepted right away, which was nice because it's kind of in the middle of the, you know, the comp range for this grade. And, price, actually. Yeah. and to me, it's uh, upper end as far as what I've seen with sixes, considering uh, the centering on this one. So very happy with this one here. George Thomas Seaver was a franchise power pitcher who helped change the New York Mets from lovable losers into formidable foes. The quintessential professional, Tom Terrific, won 311 games with a 2.86 ERA over 20 seasons, and his 3,272 strikeouts set a National League career record. Seaver fanned 3,640 batters in his career, including 200 or more 10 times and once had 19 in a single game. Number 41 was the NL Rookie of the Year in 1967 and a three-time Cy Young Award winner. Seaver was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1992. My last recent addition is part of the explanation of why I made this card here available. You're a crazy person. I in my current uh, second anniversary contest as the commenter prize. And that is uh, because I altered my plans of what I want for the 54 top set. And that would be because of this gorgeous beauty. I have decided to, instead of getting that 54 Monty Irvin, I am gonna go for the 1952 tops Monty Irvin, as I am no longer wanting the 52 card of this guy. And that would be Warren Spawn. I just am enamored with the gorgeous Portrait shot of him with a great smile and a nice wind up, finish the wind up pose for the little black and white shot. And that glorious blue color they put on the back of these 54 tops cards. So, Look at all this beautiful blue around us. A uh, big fan of this one here, which I did uh, win at auction. I believe it was for $86, which is a little bit on the higher side for this grade, but I just thought this one just presented so nicely. Uh, I know it's not perfectly centered, but centered enough for this set. And the color and crispness and vibrancy of the photo just, uh, to me, just uh, sparkled on this one. So, it's worth it. so happy addition to my collection here. 54 Tops Warren Spawn. Stylish Warren Spawn is the winningest left-hander in history with 363 victories all but seven coming with the Boston and Milwaukee Braves. He was a 20-game winner 13 times, including six years in a row. He led the National League in wins eight times and complete games on nine occasions. He established the NL lifetime mark for innings pitched over his 21-year career, during which he hurled two no-hitters and won the 1957 Cy Young Award. He earned the prestigious Purple Heart and Bronze Star in World War II. Spawn was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1973. Well, there's my four new pickups. Didn't I tell you today was going to be a great day to talk about baseball cards? Maybe we'll try again tomorrow. See you later. Bye for now. Well, see you next time. Yeah, unless I get lucky and break a leg. <laughs>
That's sad when you can't even commit suicide.